welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Angela and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my experience working at Disney World. So this is going to be my very first ever story time video and I'm really excited and kind of nervous. Uh, I put off doing it for a while since I've started my channel because I love watching story times but I don't know why I've been so nervous to do one. I guess just fear of not knowing what to say or if people really care. Um, but you know what? I really enjoy watching them and I really want to do one. So I sat down and I came up with some ideas and tried to think of something that I thought would be interesting to learn more about or even just hear about. And my time interning at Disney World was amazing. It was so much fun and it's something that I, people always ask me a lot of questions about. So I thought it would be a good first topic for my first story time video. So let's go ahead and hop on into it. So I guess I'll start with how I kind of, um, how I got the internship or how I heard about it. It's funny because I had initially heard about the internship years prior while I was still at community college back home in California. And I thought to myself, well, that's really cool. Um, and I actually looked into it a couple of months later and they weren't accepting um, new interns at that time. So I was like, oh, that sucks, whatever. And I kind of just forgot about it. And then when I was going to um, university, I, was go I went to Fresno State University and I was a journalism major. And it was a couple of years later and it was really funny because it, it was actually something that was very, um, in my department, in my um, major for journalism, they actually um, encouraged us to do the Disney College program. That's what it's called. It's called the Disney College program. And so they sent out an email uh, to a mass email to journalism students about the Disney College program and I was like, oh, this is really cool I looked into this years ago. I filled out the, the, the paperwork for the email I did like the online like application or whatever, but I didn't think anything would come of it I was like, oh, whatever. I'll fill it out. Nothing's going to to come of it I had just started dating my boyfriend Gustavo like we had literally only been together like maybe like five, six months. Our relationship was really, really new. I had just started college. I was only in my first couple of semesters and I was like, I'm probably not gonna get it, but let's just apply. So I applied. I actually got an email back from uh, the Disney College program, I think less than 24 hours later saying that my initial um, application had been approved and that they wanted to do a phone interview. So what happened was they sent me um, dates and times for when I could do my phone interview and I picked one and they called me. And I remember my heart was racing when they called me. I was terrified because I wanted it so badly. But at the same time, I still was in this like scarcity mindset. I was like, I'm probably not gonna get it anyway. So I don't know what I'm so worried about. I did the interview. They, it was like, I think it was like an hour long. They asked me whether I would want to go to Disneyland or if I wanted to work at Disney World. And they asked me, um, what I would most like, like what was my interest, like what areas was I interested in working in, whether that being like a character or food and beverage or uh, janitorial, whatever. There's tons of different um, things that you can do as an intern in Disney, tons. So they asked me all those questions and then of course they asked me like basic like job application questions. Um, and I remember, I think the last question they asked me was how would you how would you give someone like a magical day or something or what would you describe a magical day because it's all about the magic at Disney and I thought it went good but I was like eh, whatever like I read online that the chances of getting into the Disney College program were like slim to none it was very hard to get into the Disney College program so I kind of just went on with my life and you guys like it literally was like less than two days later that I got, I think it was an email saying that I had been accepted into the Disney College program and that it was actually going to be at Disney World. So I was actually going to go and live in Florida for a semester. And I was really, really excited, but I was also really, really scared and I debated on not going. I, I thought about it, I weighed the pros and cons, I talked to some of my teachers, some of my professors at school, and it's just really funny because it had nothing to do, I ended up getting the internship um, in food and beverage. So I worked in food and beverage um, at Disney World in the Magic Kingdom. And I, that's one of the reasons I debated on it because they chose me for food and beverage because I had experience working in food and beverage, which is totally fine. I didn't mind that aspect at all. But one of my excuses for not going was like, well, it really doesn't even have anything to do with journalism. So like, is it really gonna help me? And all my professors were like, Angela, 
Like seriously, you're even questioning whether you're gonna go. It doesn't matter whether you're doing food and beverage or janitorial or whatever, like it's Disney and this is gonna look amazing on your resume, especially since this program is so hard to get into. That You know, they were like, you, you need to go. This is gonna be an amazing experience. I left like right after Christmas. It was really hard, it was emotional. I was scared to leave my family. I was scared to leave my boyfriend. And as weird as it sounds, like we, me and my boyfriend had only been together, Gustavo and I had only been together like four or five months. So like our relationship wasn't that long at all. But when I look back, like we became super close and like just like super fast. Like we told each other, I love you a month into the relationship. It was just one of those head over heels, like right away, you know, we just bonded so well, very fast. So it was very emotional for us, me leaving. Uh, and anyways, I flew to Florida and it was my first time, mind you, traveling by myself. I had never flown by myself. I had never taken a bus by myself. I've never done anything by myself, pretty much. So I went, um, I remember the first night, um, I stayed at the Disney, one of the Disney hotels, which they set up for me to stay in the night before, cause I got in a night before we had to register for the college program. So I stayed at this hotel and I remember I ordered pizza because it was like 10 o'clock at night. And I remember, <laughs> I remember sitting on my bed crying um, because I was all alone. I was scared. I was like, what the heck am I doing? I should not have come here. I don't know anybody here. I'm not gonna make any friends. This is gonna be a horrible experience. I don't care if it's Disney, I wanna go home. Um, I'm such a drama queen when it comes to stuff like that. Like I'm just such an emotional person and leaving home for the first time was just so, so, so hard for me. And maybe some of you guys can relate. If you can, I won't feel as silly. But anyways, I remember calling my mom and I was just kind of like sad and I called my boyfriend and they both calmed me down, of course. And I, I went to bed and I woke up early. I went to, I don't remember where we registered. I think it was a different Disney hotel. I really can't recall where registration was. But I remember getting there and seeing tons and tons of college students like lined up everywhere. And then I started to get a little excited. This is when I started to move from that fear of like, okay, like maybe this will be fun. Like there's tons of people here. And the way it works with Disney, um, when you go to the college program, they have, they have, when I went, they had four different um, apartment complexes that they owned. So when you do the college program, Disney owns these apartment complexes and they are specifically for Disney college program students only. So um, I actually ended up being in the apartment complex called Vista Way and it was, um, uh, of course it was in Florida. I, I interned in Florida at um, Disney World. Um, but when we were in line, it's it was kind of like a, a gamble because before we registered, we didn't know what park we were gonna be working at or who our roommates were, were gonna be or what apartment we were gonna end up getting. Um, because there's, uh, if you guys don't know, if you've never been to Disney World, it's way bigger than Disneyland. So the way it works is there's four different parks at Disney World, completely separate, unlike Disney, whereas it's, it's just California Adventures and Disneyland combined, pretty much. So there's the Magic Kingdom, there's Disney Hollywood Studios, which is pretty much like their version of, um, at least to, to me, it reminds me of Universal Studios, but it's like Disney. So it's, um, uh, what was it? It's Magic Kingdom, uh, Disney Hollywood Studios, Epcot Center, and Animal Kingdom. So we didn't know where we were gonna be working. None of us knew where we were gonna be working. And most of us didn't even know who our roommates were gonna be. They had like a Disney college program page on Facebook where you could like connect with people and plan people you were gonna room with, with beforehand, but I didn't. I really don't know why I didn't, but I'm happy that I didn't because I ended up absolutely loving, loving, loving my roommates. Um, I met them standing in line. I remember uh, the first one that I had talked to, her name was Kristen, we were talking and we were around the same age so we decided to room together. And then there, there was this girl, Brittany, standing behind us and she started to talk to us and we liked her too. So we're like, okay, let's room with her. And so actually all three of us, there were um, six of us total, but three of us that we, we, we meshed in line. So we decided when we got up to registration, they asked us, do you know who your roommates are gonna be? And we said us three for sure. And then they pretty much just roomed us with three other random people, which is kind of scary because we were like, oh God, hopefully we like this people. And I don't know how we got so lucky, but we all got along so, so, so well. I had roommates from, it was such an amazing experience because I got to meet people from all over. One of my roommates was from Cincinnati. One of them was from Chicago. Uh, two of them were from New York. Um, and then I'm trying to think, uh, one of them was from Colorado. We got um, 
our apartment and it was what was it? it was three bedroom so it was two people per bedroom so um, you share a room with somebody and it's basically just like having a big sleepover all the time uh, we all had different schedules I ended up working at the Magic Kingdom one of my other roommates worked at the Magic Kingdom as well but what was really cool is that some of my roommates worked at resorts and some of my roommates worked at other parks so after we got settled into our rooms, we had a couple of days free to kind of just like relax. And then we went into training. So we all kind of went our separate ways during the day because we all worked at different locations at different resorts or parks or whatever. And training was uh, hardcore. Uh, Disney is definitely, you know, when you go to Disney, I mean, they think of everything. Disney is definitely like you want to walk into this like magical place and forget about your problems, forget about real life. You want to be in this fantasy land. That's what they want you to be in. They want it to be a perfect um, experience for you. So they teach us all of that. I mean, you know, the way we talk, uh, we had to learn like Disney history, like stuff about Disney, Walt Disney himself, stuff about the park, historical facts, stuff like that, because we, as employees, well, not employees we're called cast members so as a Disney employee you're always called a cast member not an employee so we have to be able to put on this act and really give people this magical experience that they're paying for so we had to learn all the history and uh, it was just really fun in training I really liked my job because in food and beverage I got to work in all aspects of the Magic Kingdom so I didn't just work at one location in the Magic Kingdom I worked everywhere in the Magic Kingdom. So I worked in Fantasyland, I worked in, um, what was it called Circus Circus? I can't remember. Um, I worked in Tomorrowland. I worked at pretty much every single food location in the Magic Kingdom. And I didn't know where I was going to be working until I clocked in. So it was kind of like a gamble every day. My favorite place to work was in Fantasyland at Storybook Treats. At Storybook Treats, it was a soft serve ice cream place um, and I just loved making the ice cream. It was a lot of fun. And like I said, the depths that that Disney as a company goes through to make people's experience magical is amazing. For example, I'm sure if you've gone to Disneyland or Disney World or whatever, I'm sure you've never ever seen somebody in a Tomorrowland costume walking through Fantasyland. And that is deliberate. So like if you're working in Fantasyland, you better not be caught walking through Tomorrowland because you're breaking character and that's breaking the fantasy for people. So that's why we actually have um, different like rabbit holes and like tunnels that we go through and we actually go through to go under the park where we clock in and stuff like that. So there's a place to get in and out and clock out of work uh, in every area of the park depending on what land you are in in the park. So that's really cool. I think one of the best coolest experience was actually being able to go in the tunnels under the castle. Like that's where I ate lunch, that's where I clocked in. And it was just a really cool experience. Not many people can say that they've been under the tunnels, you know, in Disney World and, you know, know all like the secret exits and entrances and all that fun stuff. It was just such a fun, such a fun, like wild experience. And it's something that I miss every single day. It's one of those experiences. Do you guys ever like, you know, when you have a, a memory that's so amazing, like you just had so much fun that when you think about it, like like your heart almost hurts because you miss it so much. That's how I feel when I think about Disney and when I think about my friends there. The only downside is that these girls that I lived with for six months, five to six months, they became like my best friends, my sisters, my companions. I love them all so much and we're all from different parts of, you know, the US or the country or whatever. Uh, and we haven't seen each other since 2013 and that makes me so sad. We keep in touch on Facebook and we want to plan a trip like to maybe go back and go to Disney again all together or just go on some type of trip together. But we have yet to make it work and that's the only thing that sucks is leaving all your friends at the end of the internship. It's really emotional. There's a lot of crying. Um, but it is so worth the experience. It was so much fun. So I usually didn't start work until like 11 o'clock or like 1 or 2 p.m. because I was usually at the park until anywhere from like midnight to like 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning depending on when we close. Closing was really cool because I actually at the end of the night like being like the last like five people to exit the park and seeing the detail that they put into the park every night to make sure that it is spotless for the next day 
is crazy. I mean, they have people out there with hoses and watering everything down and cleaning everything up. And it's like, I got to see it like, like with the slate wiped clean. Like I got to see the park like dead quiet, extremely clean, no noise. And it was just really cool to see. Like it was just, I don't know. I thought it was just like a really like magical experience to just like stand in the middle of the Magic Kingdom. Nobody's there. It's dark. And it's just, that sounds creepy. But <laughs> it sounds creepy, but it was actually really magical because there's still lights on and stuff. So it's not like it's pitch black. And then another thing that I loved working at Disney is we got to do these things called, we got to create magical moments for people. I believe that's what it was called. Uh, forgive me if I'm wrong on what these terms are. It's been, I'm bad at math. It's been five years. I can't believe it's been five years. <sighs> it makes me sad. It's been five years. But we used to create like magical moments for people, which I'm sure they still do, probably. Um, and what a magical moment is when we worked at Storybook Treats. So we only did the magical moments. I think we only did the magical moments at Storybook Treats, which was our soft serve ice cream pit place where we did like extravagant like ice cream sundaes and cones and all that stuff. So it was really cool because we had these big old bowls like this for a, where we could put ice cream in. And we would make these extravagant sundaes for people um, that were like literally like we could do whatever we wanted. Like we had freedom to decorate it and put as much as we wanted and make it really cool. And sometimes we would have these sundaes like massive sundaes, like super tall. And what we would do is the reason it's called a magical moment is we would make this sundae. And then we would go right outside Storybook Treats and we would look for like a family. Preferably like a family of like five, four or five, since it's a really big thing of ice cream um, so that they can actually eat it. And we would give them this big old thing of ice cream for free and preferably a family with like a small kid or a couple kids because we got to, we would like kind of like tell this story, like, like walk up to, I remember one time we walked up to this family um, and they had these kids and these kids just looked so happy to just be there in general. And me and, um, I forgot who I was working with that day. I think it might've been one of my friends. I think it might've been my friend Nina, I'm not sure, or Rachel. Uh, but it was one of my friends. We did it together. We went out and we found this family that had these kids and they looked super happy and upbeat. So we walked up to them and we were, we walked up to the kids and we were like, Hey, we were like, Oh my gosh. Uh, we just had to come and tell you that, you know, Cinderella is up in her castle and she saw you guys and she saw you guys having so much fun and she wanted us to give this to you. So, and like seeing their face light up, like they were just like, like, oh my God, like a princess gave me free ice cream. It's just like stuff like that. Like Disney, it was just such an amazing experience and seeing people like having these magical moments and these families creating these magical moments together was just really cool to see. And it was really awesome thing to, to be a part of. I loved it. I feel like they treat their employees very, very well. Um, I think that we have like a, we have like a store, like a discount store that is only open to employees where it's like extremely discounted stuff. But even like in the park itself, um, I think year round we get 25% off as employees. I can't remember. I really can't remember that could be wrong. Um, but during holiday season, we actually get 40% off of Disney, um, stuff. So in the park itself, like if we go shopping in the park itself during holiday season, we get like 40, we got like 40% off. Um, and I, I was there during holiday season, really holiday season to Disney is like six months out of the year. So it's really like half of the year where you're getting that 40% discount. So it's really cool. Cause you can get some really cool gifts for your family. Um, that's what I did. I used my, my discount during the holiday season while I was there and I brought home a bunch of stuff for myself and my family. And it was just, it was just really, really cool. Another perk of interning at Disney is that, um, you get fr your friends and family get to get into the park into the parks for free. So um, it's only so many people per day, of course, but it's really cool because while I was there, my family came and visited me. Gustavo came with my family. Um, they came and visited me for seven days and we went to a different park each day and we all just went in for free. And that's a really cool perk that Disney has because it's no secret that Disney World, Disneyland, everything Disney is very, very expensive. So it was a cool perk to have as a, um, employee or cast member. I just remember having so many cool fun memories with my friends like there was nothing like more fun than getting off work going down to the lockers and changing into my normal clothes and we would just come right up back up through the tunnels like if we were already at work like we didn't have to go and like 
enter through the park like normal civilians did. Like we would just go and change, get into our normal clothes, and then we would actually just walk back up where we clocked in and walk into the park through the tunnels and just have a blast. And we would ride rides and we would eat ice cream. And like, it was literally just like living a Disney, Disney life every day for like five or six months. And it was the funnest experience, the funnest experience ever. Oh, and I forgot to mention one of the most important things. Most colleges, not all colleges, unfortunately, but most colleges accept the Disney college program um, towards credit, towards your actual um, degree or whatever. And so when I went and interned for Disney, when I went and interned at Disney World, it wasn't, it, it, it was food and beverage, so it had nothing to do with my major, but it still counted as so many credits towards what I needed to graduate. So even though it was food and beverage, I was still accumulating some credits. And when I went back, that still went towards my education. So it was cool because it still counted, even though it wasn't within my journalism major. Unfortunately, I know not all colleges accept that. So all colleges, some colleges might just let you take a, you know, might let you take a leave and go um, for that semester and come back and then just start up again the next semester but some colleges like mine actually do accept the Disney college program as like class credit which is what mine counted for so it actually counted as a class and uh, I mean working for Disney that I can't ask for anything more if that can count as a class that's pretty amazing but I think the biggest takeaway I took away from Disney from going moving you know to a different place you know flying by myself living by myself it was a big growing up experience for me I remember when I came home, I had been home for a couple of weeks. I still lived with my mom, of course, um, cause I was still going to school, but she had told me like, I noticed a really big difference in your maturity since you've come home. Um, and that meant a lot to me because it was really, really hard for me to go. Like, like I said, I cried when I initially got there. I was scared. I wanted to come home. Um, but it ended up being one of the most amazing experiences of my life. And like, if there's like one thing in my life that I could go back and repeat, it would probably be the Disney college program. And I'm pretty sure that if you want to do it, at least when I was there, I think anybody can do the Disney college program. You just have to be in college. Like it doesn't even have to be a university. It doesn't have to be a university or anything like that. It can just be a community college too. There were people that were in community college that were doing the program. As long as you're in some type of college, you can apply for the Disney college program. And if you're wondering if I would recommend it, I would 150% recommend this program because it's going to be, you're going to experience, you're going to have so many amazing experiences. It's gonna, you're going to grow. You're going to learn how to work hard. You're going to, you're going to develop a really good work ethic and you're going to create memories that you're never like, never, ever going to forget. You're going to make friends that are friends that are going to be like your forevers. And it's just going to be, I don't know, it's just going to be the most amazing experience ever. At least that was my experience. And that's why I wanted to talk about it because I don't know. It's just, it's had a big impact on my life and I'm just, I'm just so, so, so happy that I did it. And I guess moral of the story is, is do things that scare you because I was really, really scared to do this. And when I applied for this internship, I didn't think I would get it. Like I legitimately was like, well, I'm probably not going to get it. So I wasn't scared to apply because I literally thought, eh, I'm not going to get it. But then when I got it, I almost didn't go. And I can't even think, oh, gosh, if I would have missed out on that because I was scared. So do things that scare you. You know, I know it's corny, like saying like everything you want is on the opposite side of fear, but it's true. Like it's so, so, so true. If you have been wanting to do something uh, like a specific internship or take a specific job or go on a trip or start a YouTube channel or whatever, like life is just way too short to not take advantage of opportunity. So, you know, <laughs> on that note, I think I'm going to end this video. Otherwise, it is going to be extremely long, but I hope you guys enjoyed my story time about my internship and my experience working at Disney. And if you guys have any questions about it, anything that I didn't answer or talk about, please, please, please comment below. I would love to answer your questions. So hope you guys are having a good day. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.